Let's begin with the right-handed method of tying a bow tie, with some help from Bow Ties Limited of Vermont customer and professional conductor Evan Bennett. Let's watch Evan first. Notice that Evan, who is right-handed, starts with the right side of his tie slightly lower than the left. He crosses the longer side over the shorter one, then pushes it under and gives a gentle tug. Now the top is slightly longer than the bottom. Next, he forms a bow with the end that's underneath, then pulls the top end up and behind to make a loop. A push and a pull and a little finessing. And there it is, a well-tied bow tie. Now, let's do it together, slowly the first time. Put the tie around your neck with the bow ties tag facing right side up. Now, adjust the length of the two tails. Next, cross the longer end over the shorter one, just as Evan is doing. Then, push it up, under, and through with your thumb. You've made a simple knot with the front tail of the tie still hanging longer than the one in the back. Adjust the tightness of the knot to make it snug yet comfortable around your neck. You won't be able to adjust the fit after this point. Now let the front tail rest while you form a bow with the back one. Use the thumbs and fingers of both hands. Pick up the other tail now and pull it over and behind the bow you just made to create the center of the full finished bow. Now watch carefully. While you're still holding on to the first loop, use your thumb to push the new one, the one crossing the center of the tie, right through the knot in the opposite direction. Then give an even, gentle pull on both loops with the fingers of both hands to lengthen the bow and tighten the knot. Great job! Now wasn't that easy? You'll know you've done it correctly when you see a looped end in front of a straight end on one side and a straight end in front of a looped end on the other. Thanks, Evan.